Hello everyone, it's Rachel here again because I like my look today so much so I decided to record another video. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. Potentially a Q&A about me applying to unis and also some book recommendations. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. First of all, some basic info about me. I did A-levels in England in a private sixth form a girls' college. I did four A-levels, maths, further maths, physics and economics. I also did an EPQ based on economics. My EPQ title was... Wait, I forgot. Oops. It was about bubble tea and behavioral economics. If you're interested in that, I could also do a video about it. One question I get a lot is what kind of awards did I um, manage to get before I applied to uni? I actually didn't get that many awards because I haven't spent that much time in the UK and I didn't know that I was going to apply to economics until the first year of my sixth form which is equivalent to junior year in America. So I didn't have a lot of time. But for economics in the UK, math is quite important and I've done a lot of math before. So I've had some math awards, for instance, um, UKMT, the UK Math Challenge, some team awards and um, the British Math Olympiad. I've also managed to uh, do a couple entries to economics essay competitions. For instance, uh, the Marshall Society, the Royal Economic Society, etc. But I've only successfully got an award in my school's economics essay competition. But I would definitely recommend you to participate in as many economics essay competitions as possible because an award is quite important in admissions, it could be very useful to your application to make you stronger as an applicant. And it also brings you together a lot of knowledge that you didn't know before and it could be very useful in applications. The second question I get a lot is what books I read before I got into Cambridge. Um, truth to be told, I didn't read that many economics books for the same reason as the first question. I've known people that's read hundreds of books in economics and got into Cambridge, but I also do know that people learn differently and some people take in information better from other forms such as videos or other kinds of like talking, lectures, etc. So it's perfectly fine if you're a reader or not, just remember to like really love economics and taking as much information as you can and really just be a better version of yourself when applying to college. About the books that I read before I got into Cambridge. First of all, my EPQ title was Behavior Economics. So naturally, I read a lot about behavior economics. I would definitely recommend the book Predictably Irrational. It's really short, really comprehensible, and it really shows you the beauty of experimental economics. And lots of people in my school that do economics really love that book. About behavior economics, some other useful books include, um, of course, Thaler's Nudge, and also other people like Commons, Thinking Fast and Slow. I think ultimately what books you read depends on what area you're interested in. I then, uh, because I'm an economics representative in my school, so I have to do uh, weekly sessions for my school's economics club. So I had to research a lot and to see what people could be interested in and what to cover. I basically also covered US-China trade war, 
in game theory. So I read a lot about game theory, for instance, The Art of Strategy by Dixit. And I also mentioned that in my personal statement. And then I got into developmental economics. Basically, I've read um, donut economics before, before I even got interested in economics. It wasn't really economics -y, I'd say, but it's a nice intro book in global sustainable development. So I also read about some other books about the development of China. If your first language isn't English, you can also, of course, read about economics in other languages, for instance, your native language. And I read about lots of Chinese authors writing about China's economic development, and that was quite fun. I think that's all the books that I've read before I got into Cambridge. Well, after I got in, I've done much studying in exam prep, and I haven't done much economics learning in specific. I recommend that don't get really caught up in economics and knowledge, but like practice your mindset, practice how to think like an economist, to see things from different perspectives and never say definitely yes or definitely no to one question. That's what matters and what Cambridge may be looking for. Of course, if you're interested in other areas, I definitely recommend you going to your school's website, for instance, in our school's economics club, Cateris Paribus, we have the website and we write reports about books and also other eventful issues in economics. If you could, you could visit a website like that and see what books people are recommending. If you don't have anything like that, you're of, co of course welcome to visit like websites like Goodreads and see what economics books they're recommending. Usually it's a good read, I presume. I bought some books such as The Worldly Philosophers about like economic history and it's quite fun to read. Also, many people recommend you to look at the Cambridge recommended reading list. However, um, based on my personal opinion, that's not a great idea at first, at least, because lots of books they're recommending aren't made for entry level economists. For instance, they're recommending to you like um, paper one and paper two that you would do in your first year of studies in, at economics at Cambridge, like textbooks, microeconomics, macroeconomics. If you first got into economics, those complicated models and lots of math calculus might scare you off, but Based on my personal experience, it's not the best thing to just um, have a really high ambitious goal. Just start small and keep doing it. The most important thing is keep your love for economics going and read more books without getting terrified of economics at first. So I would recommend just getting started with some elementary books. But um, obviously also don't waste your time on some very elementary economics books, for instance like Obviously, some very fun reads, no offense to them, like free call economics. And also, Team Harford's another book, which I don't really remember. Oops. But um, yeah, I will put the title on this video. Anyway, he talked a lot about cappuccinos. It was definitely a fun read, but it didn't teach me about economics that much well yeah like i said the content is a really important but don't get caught up in very elementary reads the third question i get a lot is that should i read weekly financial times or economists just to keep up uh, my personal experience has been that it's definitely helpful and before the interview i um check the financial times and economists every single day because I was nervous that they were gonna test something I could have read about and I did not. But truth to be told, it wasn't that hugely helpful. I'd say 
it's definitely helpful to you developing economist mindset by reading about those um, blogs and papers regularly and it's definitely one thing if you've already developed those habits which are really good and useful and you should keep them but it's another thing if you don't have those and you're trying very hard to develop those habits before you're applying or when you're applying for instance i was recommended to start reading the economist or financial times around this time last year but um, after the first few couple of weeks i didn't really get into a habit of reading them and every week is just a pain because you procrastinate and that's never good so i definitely recommend try keeping that a habit if that's possible but don't get really annoyed or caught up or just don't like economics in general if you can't develop those habits it doesn't really harm you it's just the best to be updated but it's definitely helpful to read lots of news issues and articles before your interview because just you know in case it comes up and you will yeah and you're you will be expected to know what's going on around the world which i do not apparently the fourth question that i get a lot is about math in economics first of all i like to emphasize if you are not really good at math that's fine but if you don't like math it's better that you think of another major because economics at uni is full of math and you're gonna suffer like a lot so it's not recommended but if you like math that's what's really important i'd recommend you really get into your a-level content or just any content you're learning IB, etc. Get a hold of the calculus you're doing, which will be important in your interview because it's a really large area and it's the area, most difficult area they expect people to cover by the interview. So really get your head into that. Some people ask me if they should read university math textbooks. I'd say I haven't before, but I've known people that have and they're very successful so if you can do that respect to you and you're gonna do great but if you can't and you're like me don't be extra worried just really get a hold of the your a-level content the math you're doing and sharpen your mind don't let it you know rot while you're not thinking during the holidays in that way with a sharpened mindset and some sufficient math skills, you will definitely ace the interview. It will be all fine. A similar question I get, um, as opposed to the math question, is about essays. Obviously, economics is an essay-based subject. If you're not passionate about writing essays, um, it's also not that recommended to you because in uni, you're going to write a lot of essays especially at Cambridge, you're going to write a lot about politics, history as well. So you'd better be passionate about those. If you're not great at essays yet, that's okay. Practicing essays really needs practice and time. In essay subjects, your final A-level prediction might be vastly different from the grade that you got at the beginning of sixth form. That's fine. Just keep practicing, know how an essay works and how to think critically and you will be fine okay that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and maybe it's been helpful if you had any of those concerns please comment below if you have any other queries questions or just comments don't forget to like subscribe um and repost i suppose thank you for watching again and hopefully i'll see you soon in the next video Thank <laughs> you.